So when we do Rock and Go, we usually start our stories and our performances with a formalized greeting. These are sometimes a little bit difficult to translate into English. For example, one of these stylized greetings would be something like this. Which translates into English. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Sometimes English is shorter. Uh, Rakugo's story usually starts with someone knocking on his friend's door, a little bit like this. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Iteru ka? Konnichiwa! Eh? Oh, dare ya to motoro man kai na. Shibaraku ka o mise nan da ga. Mama wa chotto nagari na, nagari na. If you were to do this in English, it would sound something like this. Hello! Hello! Oh, it's you. Come in. Again, sometimes English is shorter. <laughs> when I perform, <clears throat> excuse me, when I perform Rakugo for uh, people from other countries, I usually have to explain the art form, and so I usually go with a little bit of an explanation like this. In Rakugo, we only use two props. In Japanese, we call this a sensu. In English, we call this a fan. In Japanese, we call this a tenugui. In English, we call this a hand towel. When we perform rakugo, we wear special clothing. In Japanese, we call this kimono. In English, we call this kimono. When we perform rakugo, we sit in a special way. In Japanese, we call this seiza. In English, we call this punishment. <laughs> if I give that much of an explanation, usually people are ready to hear a rakugo story. 